Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here with another one of another bunch of LEGO Star Wars reviews for Throwback Thursdays. And this one's on the Elite Clone Trooper vs. Uh, Commander Droid Battle Pack and Endor Battle Pack from 2012, of course. So on the front of each manual have the LEGO Star Wars logos and also the white and blue uh, uh, Darth Maul border since this year 2012, early 2012, is when uh, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, had a 3D redo release at the time, of course. Well, so they kind of did that to honor that, of course. And also have picture of the set in action, of course, and set number, of course. And on the back is how to win on the online survey, Evil Win Kid, of course. And then, add for Lego Club, advertisement of all the sets for Winter 2012, minus Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, since that was a special edition set. But, as for Geonosian Canon right here, I would expect for next, next throwback Thursday. And then, the comic kind of thing for, uh, that all the manuals at the time had, and also all the features of the set, of course. And then the last steps, or the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last steps. And also, as you see, one page has the parts list kind of overlapping with the final step of the set, so which was kind of a common thing with sets at the time, but just a little thing to mention, but yeah. And that is it there. So now on to the first mini fig selection, which is with the Endor Battle Pack. First off, we which have uh, two Endor Rebel Troopers, which torso printing and all kinds of same, uh, which like we've seen many times before, and helmet piece also what we've seen uh, many different times before, especially from like the uh, uh, 2009 Battle of Endor set. For that. Then also the same with the Scout Trooper and Storm Trooper, also the same from earlier sets, of course, as well. And of course, also the same as from the earlier times until we got updated versions in uh, 2014 beyond, of course. And then back, all of which with back torso printing and also no double side faces for each some of the troops. But although for the, uh, both of the troopers, or both the Shao and Dorn Trooper, do have a little bit of uh, face printing there. For that, but even though with the helmet around, it makes it kind of weird and awkward, which they did with earlier sets as well. But yeah, and also the scout trooper, not at all any back torso printing for him, although could have easily done that, but at least they improved that afterwards, of course. And I guess that's about it there. And also, as you can see, both sides of of Star Wars, of course. Well, since, of course, at this time and the next year, well, this year and the next year is when they did, like, versus battle packs of, like, two sides for that. At least until the uh, 2023 uh, Clone Trooper versus Droids battle pack, which really improves that, of course. But, of course, this was kind of a sign where got a little less of that, but at least that did improve it until then, but yeah. That's about it there. And now on to the one with these other battle pack from the time. Yeah, first up we have the clone arc trooper for otherwise hammer rancor according to Brick Set, of course. Which as you see for the torso print leg printing of which looks 
quite interesting and really good for how it is and wielding two small blasters and has a cloth a waist cape piece and cloth shoulder pads although these pieces could be used for useful for like uh, galactic marines well both of which for galactic marines if lego ever decides to do so and also and also what you should include on like cat and fox or cat and rex and such well just a thought even though they've oftentimes printed those on but if they if there was to be that now i expect we all would prefer to see it like this of course so, and then also as for the helmet piece of which sort of a or, or what some call a one point phase 1.5 kind of mix like with the fin part like phase one troopers and face printing just about like phase two troopers sort of uh put together of that and of course this mini fig as a whole of which all exclusive to this set of course but which kind of interesting for that exclusive figure to a battle pack for that and of course has the uh helmet portholes for range finders and such and underneath with both troopers have the uh, common clone face from the time well till 2013 okay. and then next to which is the uh, clone arf trooper of uh, which rancor battalion and according to brick set as well but as you see the uh, helmet piece of which just the same as the one that came in the Clone Troopers Beater Battle Pack from the year prior, but with a lot of printings on it. So it's like they really upped the ante on printings on this on this uh, year, of course. Well, since, of course, this at this time, the early 10s, when uh, everything was starting to get close to modern day LEGO stuff. But yeah, and also do have slight bits of blue marking or bright blue markings in a few places on the helmet oh, which so making this helmet piece like really great for how it is and then as for the torso printing quite good and kind of matching to most other uh, clone troopers and such but then the uh, leg printing not only leg printing for that kind of odd how that is but yeah and then last stuff is who you get not one but two of is oh wait Wrong one. Is, is oh wait, wrong one. Uh, my bad. It actually this uh, one of which. And as for this that other one that I displaced right here, actually one that was put out the following year of the Commando Droids. But anyways, as for the Commando Droids, which you get two of in this set, and as you saw that one that with the different printing was in a different set for that a year later so sorry about that weird thing but yeah but anyways as for the figure as a whole uh, that the torso print or torso piece and arms same as all other b1 battle droids but in dark brown you know which could snap kind of easily it, so be aware of that and the leg piece also same as all the uh, uh super battle droids and Magna Guards and K2SO, of course, but in dark brown. The headpiece of which, which was exclusive to these figs for both years, of course. But as you can see, the printing on it looks quite good for how it is. So kind of interesting why they didn't appear in much other sets afterwards. But if they were to be uh, put out and remade nowadays, I think they would be about as good as this. But yeah. Then as for the back doors or back torso printings of each of them as you can see this have this little backpack built for the arc trooper right here and however probably the same uh, in the tor torso printing same on both troops of course but however this minifig selection as a whole it was kind of neat seeing both of these troopers together in a battle pack and also exclusive to that but However, if these were to be put out in sets nowadays, I think they'd look about as close and as good as these two, but yeah. So that's about it there. So first off, for one of the builds included with the Endor Battle Pack is this little speeder bike here. Which, as you can see, 
It looks just about the same as the one that came in the uh, uh, Snow Trooper Valve pack two years prior to this set, but swapped out with dark brown instead of white for that. You can see like all the pieces for that, like this back part with the uh, dry bike kind of bit to it. And which is all in dark brown like most previous uh, Endor speeder bikes that there were. And a couple of snowshoes kind of pieces down there and also a little backpack pouch piece down there. And enough space to fit your uh, scout trooper onto it. And of course can fit it right onto the handlebars like all others of course. In this upper part of which with that curved uh, plate underneath it and of course a megaphone blaster that they've used for most of all the years of course and handing up to the long uh, ski pole pieces and then ending up with stock with traffic sign pieces but in this case used as uh, front flaps for that so, so not much else to say on this uh, speeder bike, even though I have kind of mentioned a lot of these in most reviews over the years, but yeah. And that's about it there. And now to the other build of this set, which is this little tree with a turret in it. So, of course, so this set, almost like both of the Mandalorian battle packs and the original 2007 Clone Trooper battle pack, like, where there was two small builds together in a set. So this would still kind of a sign of the times where that was still going on, but yeah. So as which has like all four of the uh, corner wedge pieces in dark green for that. All of these could have worked out as well in like tan for that, for the uh, forest floor of Endor, for that. and all resting on a, a dark brown plate or a four by four plate there. Then one side of which, which has a little bush piece and also a little turning this part for this turned with a foot fire missile for that. Since of course, since this was 2012, it's still going on, and these which still went on till 2013. Yeah. And then one side of which is this little tool kind of rack to put tool pieces on if you wanted, and also blasters as well and. And got a simple tree with various uh, uh, slopes going upwards and then up to a traditional bush piece. Just like we see on most other tree sets. And of course, and also enough standing space for both of the indoor troopers to be on, of course. And so that's about it with that. And now on to the large turret build included with the other battle pack with this other one as you can see kind of another torrent build like we saw with or see with most clone trooper battle packs nowadays this believes this which is a little different than some of that and of course and we did get another one literally a, a year or a year ago 2023 well, with the other 501st uh, battle pack, and to get with a few other battle packs, of course. And, and also, like those other builds, has this little clear uh, cylinder piece underneath it to even out the balance of the legs, even though, well, kind of necessary, but even though they can, they can stand just fine without it. And as for the leg bits of which, which are comprised of mostly these uh, curved hinge kind of pieces with slopes and also with sideways ratcheted joint pieces that go in and outwards. And then as for this center part of which, which has a bit of a, a what's it called, a corner plates or hinge plates on both sides. And of course, and then, and then heading upwards, and then there's just have one side of which which has a little uh, seat to stand a fig on or sit a fig on to like on the covers, and also 
where you can turn this down and let them sit on like so. And of course have the battle droid arm piece with the handlebars acting as controls of course. And then also, and the rest of which is consisting of these little hinge or hinge kind of bricks and one side which is just a plate and a tile piece. Just not much there. And then there's this upper build of which kind of simple, but for how it is like just a few bricks and a slope there, and also this wheel piece and cylinder piece or column piece on there. And of course that rod there where you can like press it and have it flip shoot out the flip fire missile like like you don't expect from sets in this time but yeah. So as what else was there to say? Not much, but yeah. Okay, and oh, oops. And so now on to the final verdict on these two. Overall, these of which are both really good sets for how they are, but the Elite Clone Trooper versus Battle Commando Droid Battle Pack, actually probably the better one of the two. Like even though for the Endor Battle Pack, which it does include figs that we've seen quite many times before, but still kind of good for building up your rebel and uh, imperial armies of which, but this, but the other which also does have extra diversity to add into both your clone trooper and battle droid armies as well, so both of which still good to have for army building, of course, like battle packs should be like, but as for the other battle pack, quite insane how there was two figs exclusive to it, it but which is kind of a rare thing with battle packs as well anyways and also in these sets both work out as good parts packs like with for dark brown and also for lightish gray of course and also too bad that the commando droids didn't stay exclusive for long but and also odd how they didn't come in various sets afterwards, or in any sets afterwards, but if they were put out nowadays, probably be about as good as these, but yeah. And especially as for the Arc Trooper, quite impressive for how he is. As well. All those almost matching to modern day uh, clone troopers and such, well, maybe a little better than that, but hopefully they'll do them better again at some point, but yeah. And that is about it with this video, and please like, comment, and anyways, sorry. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who are still looking to get these sets, then I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.